the automotive world just felt a tremor and almost no one saw it coming. While Tesla dazzled Wall Street with autopilot demos and Lucid pushed luxury EVs into orbit, Toyota, the quiet giant, was working behind closed doors on something nobody expected. Not a better electric car, not a stronger hybrid, but something far more disruptive. A battery that might just make EVs obsolete overnight. No press conference, no red carpet event. Just a single internal leak, a document traced back to Toyota's R&D center in Aichi, Japan. In it, a test log, not theory, not concept art. Real-world data, a prototype vehicle codenamed Project X-22, completed 1,003 kilometers on a single charge. With temperatures fluctuating from minus 15 degrees Celsius in Sapporo to 41 degrees Celsius near the Kiso Mountains. No degradation, no overheating, no loss in acceleration. Whispers call it the first commercial-ready solid-state battery. Not in development, but done. It charges from 10% to 80% in just over 10 minutes. Early lab readings suggest it could safely handle even faster, 5 minutes flat. That's not just game-changing, that's rules-breaking. While other companies used range anxiety as a scare tactic, Toyota didn't just solve it, they erased it from the map. So how did the so-called EV underdog suddenly leapfrog the entire industry? Smash that like button and hit subscribe right now. Because these insider moves aren't hitting the headlines, and if you don't catch them here, you won't catch them at all. Because while everyone else was sprinting, Toyota was digging. They bet big on hybrids, Camry, Prius, RAV4, building trust and scale. But under that surface, a second war was brewing. One inside sealed labs and classified corridors. Billions of dollars funneled into energy research with a single mission. Bypass lithium-ion entirely. In 2023 alone, while the media was fixated on Tesla's Cybertruck delays and Rivian's production issues, Toyota filed over 1,400 new battery patents, the vast majority related to solid-state tech. And now we know why. Lexus, their luxury division, has already begun road testing solid-state units in two upcoming models. Engineers refer to it as Type Z cell architecture. It's thinner, lighter, and dramatically more efficient than anything currently on the road. Forget 300 miles. We're talking over 600 miles on a single charge, with enough juice left for another 30. But what makes it so revolutionary? It's not just the range, it's the chemistry. Traditional lithium-ion batteries use liquid electrolytes to shuttle ions between electrodes. Efficient? Yes, but unstable. They swell, they heat, they burn. Toyota's tech replaces that volatile liquid with a solid ceramic or glass electrolyte, impermeable, fireproof, and thermally stable. That means no explosions, no runaway reactions, just pure, predictable power. Even more insane? These cells pack 450 to 500 watt-hours per kilogram, nearly double what current Tesla Model 3 batteries offer. And get this, lab data shows over 2,000 full-charge cycles with minimal degradation. That's 10-plus years of daily use without noticeable drop-off. And while it might sound like science fiction, Toyota's results aren't theoretical anymore. Prototypes are being shipped to global testing centers in Germany, India, and the US under heavy secrecy. One insider claims Toyota is preparing 15,000 solid-state units for beta fleets by late next year. That's not a moonshot. That's a countdown. But perhaps the biggest shock isn't the battery itself. It's what it does to the industry. Imagine this. Your car can drive from Los Angeles to San Francisco and back on a single charge then refill in the time it takes to grab a coffee. And because the solid electrolyte doesn't require bulky cooling systems, the battery weighs less and takes up less space, making the car cheaper, lighter, and faster. And infrastructure, that gets flipped too. With charge times cut from hours to minutes, fewer stations are needed. Less waiting, less grid stress. Even existing fast chargers could be adapted, with Toyota reportedly developing a next-gen 800-volt charging controller capable of safely handling these ultra-fast sessions. All of this, every breakthrough, was hidden behind a wall of silence. 
While the world mocked Toyota for dragging its feet, it was assembling a nuclear option. And now it's ready to detonate. Some analysts say this is just a tech race, that other companies will catch up. But Toyota's got a head start and massive production muscle. Once they lock in volume manufacturing for these new cells, the entire EV game flips overnight. Not by press release, but by product. Tesla might still own the narrative. But Toyota? It might soon own the roads. And if you think this is the peak, just wait. Rumors suggest Toyota is now in early talks with Panasonic and Cartel to license the solid-state design, enabling wider adoption across Asia and Europe by 2027. This isn't just about electrification anymore, it's about total energy dominance, and it's only the beginning. Still, one question keeps surfacing. If Toyota already has a prototype, why haven't you seen it on the road yet? That's the question executives are dodging behind closed doors. The truth? Solid-state batteries are a nightmare to scale. Not because the tech doesn't work, but because perfection is non-negotiable. We're talking about materials so sensitive that even a microscopic flaw can short-circuit performance. Ceramic electrolytes, the holy grail of energy density, demand absolute sterility. One speck of dust and it's game over. Manufacturing tolerances are in the submicron range. This isn't battery production, it's battery surgery. Toyota's engineers aren't struggling with the science. They've cracked the code. The real war is with consistency. Building one miracle battery is easy. Building a million identical miracles? That's what's delaying the revolution. And here's where it gets crazier. The cost per kilowatt hour for these solid state units is still three to four times higher than lithium ion even before they hit mass production. That's not just a problem, that's a fortress. But Toyota isn't backing down, not even close. Target date for commercial rollout? Between 2027 and 2028, with limited pilot fleets testing earlier in closed environments. The prototypes are real, the cars are coming, but the road is still under construction. While you were watching other automakers race to slap together EVs, Toyota was laying down a global empire, not in secret, but without the media circus. Right now, multiple next-gen gigafactories are rising in Japan, North Carolina, and Eastern Europe. These aren't just extensions of old plants. They're designed from scratch, purpose-built for solid-state assembly lines. The first wave? Lexus. Toyota is starting from the top, using its luxury division as the proving ground. Why? because it lets them roll out slower, smarter, and with higher margins. You won't see these batteries in the Corolla first, you'll see them in the RZ, the UX, and new all-electric Lexus flagships. And behind the scenes, they're re-architecting the entire supply chain. From raw lithium silicates to solid ceramic casings, the materials don't match traditional battery molds. So Toyota's response, build the supply chain themselves. They're now producing in-house silicon anodes, which alone could slash transport costs by 30% across their battery lines. No outsourcing, no gambling, just total control. How much are they betting on this? Over $13 billion has already been allocated, just for platform R and D and infrastructure upgrades. That's more than the GDP of some countries. And yet, they haven't even begun to sell a single solid-state car. Why? Because the first car isn't just a product, it's a pressure test for an entirely new EV ecosystem. And then comes the real bombshell, safety. Because this isn't just about range or speed or size, it's about trust. The dirty secret no one wants to talk about? EV fires. They're rare, but when they happen they explode, literally. Because current lithium ion packs are liquid-filled pressure cookers. Leak a cell, and you get a chain reaction. Overheat one, and you ignite them all. Insurance premiums are already factoring this in. EV owners pay more, not just for the battery, but for the risk. Toyota's solid-state tech removes that equation entirely. No liquid, no gas buildup, no fire. The operating range is jaw-dropping, minus 30 degrees Celsius to plus 80 degrees Celsius, and it still runs. No need for complex coolant loops or high-maintenance thermal buffers. 
In simulated crashes at Toyota's proving grounds, the solid-state packs didn't combust. They didn't swell. They didn't even fracture. They stayed inert. And this changes everything, from regulatory approval to mass deployment in fleets. Imagine self-driving taxis, postal delivery vans, long-haul trucks, suddenly powered by batteries that are safer than a kitchen toaster. This isn't just progress, it's peace of mind at scale. And here's where the gloves come off, because Tesla is watching. Their ACE card? The 4680 cell, a beast of engineering. It's tabless, high output, and scales like no other. Tesla's already dropping it into the Cybertruck, the Model Y, and even its grid systems. The company rewrote its supply logistics around it, but it's still liquid-based, still chained to the limitations of lithium-ion chemistry. Solid state makes that entire format look old school. While Tesla pushes for 600 to 700 kilometers of real-world range, Toyota's prototype is already testing over 1,000 kilometers. That's not hype. It's a side effect of energy density in solid electrolytes. And charging? The 4680 still needs 25 to 30 minutes under optimal conditions. Toyota's goal? Cut that in half, under 15 minutes from nearly empty to full without degradation. Sure, Tesla owns the scale advantage. For now, their factories are humming, their margins are improving. But Toyota isn't trying to catch up. They're trying to leap ahead, skipping a generation of battery chemistry altogether. And that's why the auto world is holding its breath. Because this isn't just a showdown between two companies. It's a race between ideologies. One optimizing the present, the other rewriting the rules of the future. But rewriting the rules of energy doesn't stop with cars. It started as an innovation. Now, it's an infrastructure earthquake. Because when you create a battery that eliminates range anxiety and slashes charge times, you don't just upgrade transportation. You dismantle everything we thought we had to build around it. Suddenly, the logic behind today's charging networks begins to crumble. Why pack cities with EV chargers every five blocks when most drivers can charge once a week? Why flood shopping malls and highway rest stops with dozens of charging bays when charge times now rival a gas pump? City planners are already whispering about a reset. Fewer charging stations mean freed up zoning, more space for urban design, even new traffic flows. Commercial fleets see a chance to cut downtime by 80%, turning vehicles around faster and pushing delivery cycles into overdrive. Rural adoption, once held back by range and charging gaps, suddenly becomes realistic. Electric vehicles aren't just for cities anymore. And it's not just theory. Behind the scenes, automakers are redrawing their blueprints. Toyota's first vehicle with a solid-state heart will hit the road under the Lexus badge in 2027. Not a concept, a production model. By 2028 or 2029, that same battery will migrate into the BZ4X and Toyota's mass market lineup, pushing EVs into the garages of middle class families, not just early adopters. But they're not just retrofitting. Engineers are building platforms from scratch, tailoring chassis around solid state packs for optimal weight distribution, cooling, and performance. It's not just an upgrade, it's a re architecture. And Toyota isn't alone in the trenches. Teams in Japan, the US and Germany are working in parallel, linked by digital twins, AI-driven diagnostics, and a supply chain rebuilt for a post-lithium world. Every bolt and electrolyte is being optimized, not to meet the present, but to define the future. Their goal? By 2035, 8 out of 10 Toyota EVs will carry solid-state batteries. That's not an aspiration, that's a plan. And that plan is triggering a domino effect. Other legacy automakers who once scoffed at solid state now find themselves cornered. Volkswagen's QuantumScape is scrambling to bring its own version to life. GM, Hyundai, even Ford, all ramping up R&D to avoid being left behind. Startups once hailed as battery disruptors are suddenly outdated before they ship. Many don't have the scale, the funding, or the time to pivot. The battery race has become a survival game and solid state is the only lifeboat. Battery suppliers built around lithium ion chemistry face a similar reckoning. As solid state adoption surges, traditional lithium ion contracts shrink. 
By 2030, entire gigafactories may stand idle, their production lines rendered obsolete. Governments are taking notice. Subsidies once funneled toward lithium-ion incentives are now being redirected to next-gen chemistry programs. Europe, Japan, South Korea, all repositioning for a post-lithium economy. The US Department of Energy has already opened funding channels for solid state R and D with military applications not far behind. And then there's the public, the one force automakers can't engineer. For years, EV skeptics clung to three pain points, charging speed, range anxiety, and battery fires. Solid state tech doesn't just address them, it annihilates them. No leaks, no combustion risk, no thermal runaway. No more waiting 40 minutes on a road trip. No more wondering if you will make it home. No more viral videos of Teslas in flames. The result? Trust. Not from engineers, from drivers. Trust transforms curiosity into commitment. It turns window shoppers into buyers, fleet managers into bulk order clients, car rental companies into EV-only fleets. Solid-state batteries don't just fix electric cars, they fix their perception. And perception is everything, because perception drives markets. And markets are already reacting. Stocks in legacy EV companies have dipped while firms with solid-state IP are soaring. Supply chain investments are shifting. Even oil companies are hedging, investing in battery materials and clean mining tech. The energy sector is bracing, not for an evolution, but for a redefinition. Solid-state batteries are no longer a theoretical leap. They're a new standard. They aren't just lighter, safer, faster. They're cleaner. They enable form factors we haven't seen yet. Cars with more cabin space, new aerodynamics, even vertical EVs designed for low-orbit transport. They remove the final friction points between consumers and the electric future. Toyota's quiet, deliberate entry into this space didn't make headlines until it did. Now the entire board has flipped. Tesla still dominates the EV space with scale and speed, but chemistry, that's the battlefield of tomorrow. And on that front, Toyota just fired the first real shot. The race is on. And this time, it's not about horsepower or touch screen size. It's about who can reshape the battery first, who can make range anxiety a phrase of the past, who can deliver a 1000 mile charge with zero fire risk in less time than it takes to order a coffee. And just like that, the game has changed. For over a decade, electric vehicles were chained to the same three limits, short range, long charge times, and safety risks. But now, with Toyota's quiet but calculated move into solid state battery tech, we're witnessing the dawn of something far bigger than just better EVs. We're witnessing the death of compromise. No more babysitting batteries. No more planning your life around charging stops. No more wondering if your EV will catch fire in a crash. This isn't evolution. It's a rewrite of the laws that governed mobility for over a century. While the headlines still scream Tesla, the engineers at Toyota are building something that doesn't need hype. It needs time. And when that time arrives, it won't be a product launch. It'll be a line in the sand. So what happens next? Do governments start rewriting subsidies? Do city planners rip up the old blueprints? Will the companies still clinging to lithium-ion even survive the decade? Whatever happens, we're tracking every twist and turn right here. So if you want to stay ahead of the curve before the mainstream even sees it coming, hit that like button, smash subscribe, and drop your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think Solid State will kill the competition? Or is this just another overhyped dream? The future isn't coming, it's already here.